Whoa. No, there's nothing wrong with your TV. Imagine for a minute what life would be like, though, without the ability to see colors. In fact, about 300 million people suffer from some degree of color blindness, but now there is new hope. A pair of glasses that can turn this into this. Today in Ann Arbor, four people got to see and experience color for the very first time. The people we spoke to today had a hard time differentiating certain colors and said some colors that would be bright would seem dull. So they tried on these glasses today, hoping that would change. First time here? Yes. Oh, okay. Welcome. John Cobus helps run Le Bon Macaron Cafe in Ann Arbor. Uh, the, nougat, the nougat is similar to chocolate. It's filled with bright and colorful macaroons. And we do the coffee and French sodas and lattes. And um, so it's a nice business to be in. But Cobus always struggled to differentiate colors. I often thought my mother never taught me the different colors. It turns out Cobus is actually colorblind and he's not alone. Today, he and a group of people tested out a pair of in-chroma glasses in his shop, hoping to see colors vividly for the first time. I hope it really works. I hope it, it's, it's like, you know, kind of taking the blanket off. When it was time to try on the glasses. One, two, three. Very few words uttered as they took in new shades and hues. Wow. <laughs> Seeing colors pop on book pages. The reds are really vibrant and, um, as well as the green. Cobus can now see the true beauty of his macaroons. Well, the, the biggest thing is seeing the passion fruit here and then looking down here at the lighter colors. It's a new experience for the group to finally see the full color spectrum. It's like there's, there's more colors. I'm Coco McAvoy, <laughs> Local 4. That is fantastic. Local 4.